Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I'd like to share with you a few of my smallest sewing tools. I would be lost without these little scissors. They're little snips. What I like about them is they fit nicely in my hand. I can hold them in one direction, but I also can hold them in the other direction. And it can change hands, so if you're left-handed, they also work. What's nice about them is you don't have to pull and push the scissor together. It just goes together with a little push of your hand. And they do work in both directions. I often will chain pieces together and this is really great because it'll just go right in between those threads and snip them apart. And it will go in the other direction and snip them apart. I keep one pair right beside my sewing machine. I keep a pair right beside my iron so I can snip off threads that I've missed. I keep a pair in my traveling sewing kit and I keep a pair extra because I really, really like these. I also find that they're great for cleaning up the threads after you've done your quilting. So I have these threads, I've tied the knot, I've buried that thread. This little snip gets right to that very bottom and when it snips off, there's no thread sticking up. It's a nice, clean finish. They are sharp enough to gut fabric, but it's not something I would normally do. Because of the shape, it's really hard to catch that fabric underneath that blade. You would have to put it right in the fabric. Well, I find cutting those threads, I have less to worry about. The next thing would be a sewing stiletto. This is a tool that has a really sharp point on it. You can get them with different shape handles. I like the small one, it fits great in my hand. And I use this even if I'm not at the sewing machine. It's great if I'm going to count my fabric after I've cut it. When you go to count your fabric and if you're counting it by hand, you need to manually separate all of that fabric. And sometimes it's just not that easy to do because the fabric's thin and it sticks together. The stiletto works out great because of that sharp point. I'm able just to take that and it is just like a really long, thin finger and I'm able to move the fabric and count it. When I'm chain piecing fabric together, I don't pin them together in advance. I just take my two stacks and I'll put them together right at the machine and start sewing. And if you don't have something to pick up the fabric, you need to take the fabric by your hand and take your two stacks and match them up. I find with the stiletto, it's a lot easier and quicker for me. I'm able just to take that point and lift up that first fabric put it right onto the stack of the second fabric, lift up the second piece, now I'm able just to sew that line and it's a lot easier than trying to pick it up by hand. Some of them start with a thicker end and go to a thinner end, so it depends on the style that works best for you. I will be able to use this and I keep it right in my hand the entire time I'm sewing this stack. I can just put it in my hand and I flip it and after a while, I don't even realize that I'm flipping this back and forth. It just becomes an extension of my hand. I have a little pin cushion with a scrap catcher on it, and it sits right inside that pin cushion so I know where it is. And if I'm going to travel, I'm able to close it up and keep it nice. Now there are a lot of tools I love in the sewing room, but here is another one of my favorites. And it is this tiny little suction cup handle. Now it's designed for templates, but I like it because it's so small. I'm able to keep it in my hand. A lot of times our rulers have that beautiful non-slip back to it. So you can't take that and move that ruler. You literally have to pick it up in order to move it. If it had a slippery surface, well that would be different, but then it's slipping on the fabric. So I like to take this little handle and just stick it onto my ruler. And I'm able to use it without it being in my way. 
I make sure that that suction cup is not in the way of a measurement that I need. For example, if I'm going to cut one inch strips from this, I'm going to keep the handle so that it's somewhere that I can deal with and still see my markings. So I'm going to be able to pick up this roller, lay it down, and I'm able to have full control over it. Put it down, then I can cut my first piece. If I did not have this, I would have to pick up this roller and move it into the next area. But with this little handle, I'm able just to pick it up, line it up, and I have full control over it, and I'm not really touching the fabric underneath until I put it down. Then I can cut my next piece, and I'm going to be able to continue doing that until I cut the amount that I need. When I've done those, I keep that down, and I just drag it, and it takes those pieces and moves them for me so I'm able to continue without having to worry about this piece ever being moved. The little handle comes off quite easily. It's on the large ruler for the same reason. It's just so that it's easier to pick up the ruler. And if I need to cut and walk my hand, I'm still able to walk my hand and this is not too big so it's not in my way. So these three tools really just become an extension of my hand, which makes my sewing day so very easy. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.